And welcome back to the third hour of today, Overheard on Third. So as we talk about this coronavirus thing, a, a writer for Pop Sugar says she and her husband have been parenting in shifts and, and that's helped them become more patient with their kids and appreciative of each other. Uh, I'm going to start because I've got to give props to Deborah Roberts. Uh, my son, Nick, who's in high school, uh, they have an assignment to read Little Women by Louisa oh. May Alcott. Um, I would rather put steel spikes in my head <laughs> than, than read that. And they're alternating chapters. And I hear them like right now he's at lunch and he's reading. There's like 47 chapters. And, and you know what? It's great. Like Nick and I do the cooking thing and it, but Deborah is doing that. And it, it has, I, a, I have this amazing appreciation for what she's doing, but B, I think that's her wheelhouse. Yes. Have some mine, and there you go. I think you have to stick to your strengths. Um, you know, I, I, I always cook dinner in the house so Brian I said to him the other day you know when I give you the two kids when I cook dinner it's not because I'm trying to like escape doing anything with the kids it's because I'm providing dinner for our family right he said absolutely like I look forward to that time because it's usually when Ollie's kind of happy and just sort of lays there and Cal and Brian and Calvin usually play video games so I'm cooking dinner Brian and Calvin are playing golf on the on the uh, PlayStation, and Ollie's just kind of kicking around. So, I mean, and in, in, in the morning when the show starts, Brian takes Calvin to school in, in Calvin's room. So I feel like we we kind of tag in and tag out as as the day goes on. It just you need those moments to yourself to kind of do your own thing. Chanel, what do you do with all those kids? Listen, first of all, push a pause. Exactly there are eight of them. <laughs> Three, three equals, might as well three be. Equals 12. We decided on a Saturday, three equals 12. So first of all, shout out to all the single moms and dads out there because my mom was single for a good chunk of time. And I have called her many times recently saying, how did you do it? Because I was in every activity known to man. So was my brother. But anyway, right now, I just, my husband just took over because my son, my youngest son is having a live parent lunch because we used to have these, you know, at the end of school year, live, you know, lunches where you would go in person or whatever. So now they're doing it virtually. And I was sitting there looking at the clock, knowing that I had to do this. So I'm texting my husband who's in the room. I'm like, hey, you have to come relieve me so that my kid isn't the one. Oh, there, there's Uche now. <laughs> Is it over? There's Uche now. Wait, and of course he's got on shorts. Yeah, because he's Uche. <laughs> That's right. Is it over? How about, I was how about you and Lindsay, Craig? I was just saying your first I love live TV. He's, so, trying, you know, he's trying to move me. And I'm like, no, I'm not moving. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like the old woman in the show. Yeah, oh, Uche you does, Uche's doing a great job of splitting up the parenting time. Really good. Fantastic. Everybody go away. <laughs> Craig, I could watch this for, for five more minutes. <laughs> so, with us, Lindsay takes him in the morning because I'm, I'm, I'm in the studio. I have to come back and do the cable show. Um, and then after that, sometimes I'll have a, a Zoom shoot like this. Or, um, But I, I spend a lot of my day trying to get away from my children. <laughs> and <laughs> hiding, that. That's not true. Hiding from them. <laughs> uh, no, I usually take over in the afternoon um, while Lindsay will work on dinner. She'll do something else. But I usually pick up the afternoon shift. It's the only way to do it right now. Yeah. It's the only way to do it. And at night, we, she'll put Sibby down, and I'll put Dell down, because he's easier. Uh, what time do you guys, what time do they go to bed? What time should they be going to bed? <laughs> Seven, 7.30. But, really? Well, that, all, should. All should. bets are off. Oh, they're all off. So <laughs> on a good night, they're both down by 8.30. On a good okay. night. Can you get a little time to yourself?